वन विंटर मॉर्निंग आई सी साहेब स्टैंडिंग बाय द फेंस्ड गेट ऑफ द नेबरहुड क्लब सो द नेरेटर से इज वन विंटर मॉर्निंग शी सॉ साहेब स्टैंडिंग बाय द फेंस्ड गेट ऑफ द नेबरहुड क्लब He was watching two young men dressed in white who were playing tennis. I like the game he hums. Saheb he hums. He says in a lighter tone, he says that he likes the game of tennis. But he is content, he is satisfied to watch the game standing behind the fence. I go inside when no one is around, he admits. He says when nobody is around the tennis court, he enters in. he just goes inside the gatekeeper lets me use the swing saheb he is fond of the game of tennis but he is satisfied only watching the game from the outside he says when nobody is around the gatekeeper he allows him to move inside and use the swing saheb too is wearing tennis shoes that look strange over his discolored shirt and shorts So one day the narrator she saw Saheb wearing tennis shoes shoes that looked strange over his discolored shirt and shorts someone gave them these shoes to me he says in the manner of an explanation Saheb says that these shoes were given to him by somebody the fact that they the shoes are discarded are rejected shoes of some rich boy who perhaps refused to wear them because of a hole in one of them does not bother him saheb does not feel bad that these are the rejected shoes of a boy who refused to wear them because of a hole for one who has walked barefoot even shoes with a hole is a dream come true for a child for a boy who has always been barefoot even the shoes with a hole is a dream come true but the game the game of tennis that he is watching so intently so minutely so keenly it is out of his reach this morning saheb is on his way to the milk booth in his hand is a steel canister is a steel container i now work in a tea stall down the road he says pointing in the distance So Saheb tells the narrator that he has now started working in a tea stall. He says that he is paid eight hundred rupees and all the meals. Does he like the job? I ask. The narrator asks Saheb if he likes the job. His face, I see, has lost the carefree look. The narrator observes that Saheb's face has lost the carefree look. the steel canister it seems heavier than the plastic bag that he would carry so lightly over his shoulder the narrator observes that with the steel canister the steel canister it appears more like a burden this is narrator's observation she observes that steel canister it seems to be heavier than the plastic bag that he would carry so lightly over his shoulder the bag was his and the canister it belongs to the man who owns the tea shop why to the narrator the canister seems heavier than the bag because the bag the bag in which he would carry the rags it was his and the canister it belongs to the man who owns the tea shop so when saheb was a rag picker he was the master of his destiny he would do the work whenever he wanted and as long as he wanted to do but now he is working for somebody else so the bag it was his and the canister it belongs to the man who owns the tea shop with this now saheb cannot work as per his own sweet will he has to work as per the instructions given to him by the master by the owner of the tea shop saheb is no longer his own master how saheb is no longer his own master because he is now not a rag picker but he works for somebody else so that's how he is no